Hello guys, my name is Nikander, I'm a professional blockchain developer and in this video I'll show you how to build a Telegram bot with Telegram Stars integration. Your users will be able to purchase digital goods directly inside the bot using Stars. And I'll also guide you through the process of handling refunds for previous payments. Let's get started! You can find the full code and detailed instructions in my Telegram channel. Check the link in the description below. Open the bot father bot on Telegram and type the new bot command to create a new bot. Choose a name and a unique username. Once that's done, copy the bot token. We will need it to control the bot through our Python script. Open PyCharm and create a new file called .env. This file is where we store important keys that shouldn't be publicly available. Now assign bot token to the bot token we just copied. Make sure never to share this token with anyone, as it gives full control over the bot. I'm showing mine here only because I'll delete this bot after the video is finished. Open the terminal and install the libraries Python Telegram bot and python.env. The first one is for interacting with the Telegram bot API, and the second one helps us load environment variables from the .env file. Wait a few moments and close the terminal. Create a new file called config.py. We need this file to store our bot's configuration, including the available digital items, their prices and messages that the bot will send to users. Import dict and any from the typing module. This allows us to define structured data types for better code readability and maintainability. Define a dictionary called items. This stores the digital goods that users can purchase, including their names, prices, descriptions, and secret codes that they'll receive after payment. Each item is represented as a nested dictionary, making it easy to access and manage. Define a dictionary called messages. This contains all the pre-written responses that the bot will send to users. It includes a welcome message, help instructions, and refund-related messages. Structuring messages like this makes the bot's responses more organized and easier to manage. Go to main.py. Add a doc string at the beginning of the script. This provides a brief description of what the bot does. It enables users to purchase digital items using Telegram stars and also allows them to request refunds. Import the necessary modules for the bot. OS allows interaction with the operating system, such as reading environment variables. Login helps with the debugging by logging important events and errors. Traceback used for handling and printing detailed error traces when something goes wrong. Default dict from collections, a dictionary subclass that provides default values for missing keys, useful for tracking statistics. Default dict and dict from typing used for type hinting to make the code more readable and structured. Load.env from .env loads environment variables from the .env file to keep sensitive data secure. Telegram module provides various components for interacting with the Telegram bot API, including messages, buttons, and payment handling. Telegram.ext contains essential tools for handling comments, messages, callbacks, pre-checkout queries, and context management. From config import items messages, imports the predefined item catalog and bot messages. 
from config.py so we can use them in our main script. Load environment variables using load.env. This reads the .env file and makes the stored values accessible in the script. Then retrieve the bot token with os.getenv bot token. This keeps the token secure and prevents it from being hardcoded in the script. Set up login to track important events and errors. Use login.basicconfig to define the log format and set the login level to info. Then create a logger instance with login.getLogger name to log messages throughout the script. Store statistics for tracking purchases and refunds. Define stats as a dictionary where each category, purchases and refunds, is a default dict. This ensures that missing keys default to zero, making it easier to update counts without additional checks. Define the start comment handler to display available items. Create an inline keyboard with buttons for each item, showing its name and price. Use callback data to store the item ID for later processing. Send a welcome message with the keyboard attached so users can select an item to purchase. Define the help command handler to provide users with instructions. Send the help message from messages help and use parse mode equals markdown to format the text properly. Define the refund command handler to process refund requests. This function will validate the provided transaction ID and attempt to initiate a refund through the Telegram API. Check if the user provided a transaction ID. If not, send a message with instructions on how to use the refund comment correctly and exit the function. Extract the transaction ID from the comment arguments and get the user's ID. Then call the Telegram API to process the refund using refund star payment. If the refund is successful, update the refund statistics and send a success message. Otherwise, notify the user that the refund failed. Handle any errors that occur during the refund process. Capture the exception details, including the error type, message and traceback, and log them for debugging. Then send a message to the user explaining that the refund couldn't be processed, along with the error details, and suggest checking the transaction ID. Define the button handler function to process button clicks when users select an item. This function will identify the selected item and proceed with the payment process. Retrieve the callback query from the update. If the query or the associated message is missing, exit the function to prevent errors. Acknowledge the button click with query.answer, retrieve the selected item ID from the callback data and fetch the corresponding item details from items. Ensure the message is valid before proceeding. Then send an invoice using send invoice, specifying the item's details, price and telegram stars as the currency. Handle any errors that occur while processing the button click. Lock the error for debugging and if the query contains a valid message, notify the user that something went wrong during the process. Define the pre-checkout callback function to handle pre-checkout queries. Retrieve the pre-checkout query from the update and verify 
if the invoice payload matches an existing one. If it's valid, approve the transaction with OK equals true, otherwise reject it with an error message. Define the successful payment callback function to handle completed payments. Retrieve the payment details from the message and extract the item ID. Update the purchase statistics for the user, then log the successful transaction. Finally, send a message to the user with their secret code and refund instructions, formatted using Markdown. Define the error handler function to lock any errors that occur during updates. This helps in debugging by recording the update that caused the error and the error details in the log. Define the main function to initialize and start the bot. First, create the application using the bot token. Then, add command handlers for start, help, and refund as well as handlers for button clicks, pre-checkout queries, and successful payments. Set up an error handler to lock any issues. Finally, start the bot with run polling to keep it running and handle any exceptions that may occur during startup. Check if the script is being run directly. If so, execute the main function to start the bot. Our bot is ready, we can run it. Open Telegram and click Start. We see the greeting message with three buttons for buying ice cream for one star, a cookie for three stars, and a hamburger for five stars. We can type help to get more information about the bot. Let's buy an ice cream for one telegram star. It works awesome. Let's also buy a cookie. Great! Before buying the hamburger, let's request refunds for the previous purchases. We can just paste the ready to use refund comments. As you can see, we got our stars back. Now let's buy the burger. Great! Now we can refund the burger as well. Finally, let's try to request a refund for the burger again. We can't do it. It says we've already refunded the burger. Great! It works amazing! That's it for today, folks. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.